Well, who would have thought that the first major action Kotoko would do after returning from a preseason in Dubai is to announce the signing of a new defender, <laughs> Charles Owusu from BA United, and the defender has joined the club on a three year deal. Now, is Kotoko signing too much players? Yes and no. Because <laughs> last season I saw the team, I know we lacked some qualities especially at the wings our players our wingers were not consistent enough now we've signed 15 new signings and we've signed 15 new players actually and most of them are attackers we also have defensive midfielders and we have new defenders now everything is all in good faith because right now we need all the help we can get under the new coach prospanati and i hope things work out for him honestly because when you're a new coach at kotoko first of all they don't give you advice they want you to go and do your own thing that's the radio stations and everyone that feel they have the love for kotoko they will just keep quiet and wait for you to fail or wait for you to hit a snag maybe kotoko lose some game they are expected to win that's when you see the advisors now listen to me very carefully as this season starts when something goes wrong just wait and you see people start granting radio interview to give the coach advice right now they won't give him the advice they are waiting for something negative to happen before they give him the advice. I hope they don't have the opportunity to do that because I want Prosperate to, you know, press the club impress the fans and also, you know, surprise everyone because I think he he he's destined for greatness. That's what I have to say. He's destined for greatness. You just have to understand the Iduana game, Hearts of Oak game, they are very, very important game that Kotoko will have to win and Kotoko will try to win whenever they you know meet those themes. So I think Right now, Prosperante is someone I feel is destined for greatness and I hope everything works out for him very well. Now, back to our signings. I think we are signing players based on what the coach, like the recommendation, recommendation of the coach and that we have to trust him. Yes, but me personally, I still hold that knowledge that if Mariano Berto had the opportunity to influence our transfer to tell the players he had, he wanted for at Kotoko, we could have been unstoppable in the league because with the ones he came to meet we put out good imp uh, impressive performance and we did very well under the circumstance that he's just coming in the middle of the season and taking charge of things and you know trying to turn things around i think the only thing about mariano berto is that he shot in himself in the foot by making those comments about the club you're the head coach of the club you shouldn't be making those comments and all that so i feel he did that to himself so being sacked in that manner he deserved it totally deserved it so I feel that if the coach is recommending this signings, because I know Prosperity work with Wafa and he works with a lot of young players, if he's recommending all these signings, and most of the players we've signed, they are very young players. I think he has a plan for them. I'm hoping things work out for him because I want him to prosper, like his name. I want him to prosper at Santi Kotoko, and I'm hoping he does that and very fast because you know. Premier League starting this weekend and everyone will be expecting Kotoko to win their first game, Prosperity to win his first game when mm -hmm. we face Dreams FC. I don't know if it was in Deu because Deu has been um, rejected so they'll be playing the game at their Crossport Stadium. That's if Deu is not approved maybe before Friday. So I think the game we played at Crossport Stadium, I'll be there to watch that particular game. So everyone will be expecting Kotoko to win that game and everyone will be expecting to see the new signings, the one we are talking about, the new signings in action and all that. Now, about the Charles Owusu guy, I think no one expected this signing because we we felt that we are done with signings. But coming back from preseason from Dubai and we signed Charles Owusu from BA United, I think most people were like, oh, did we really need that? Me personally, I don't know. Because the thing I hate most is signing players that you won't use and at the end of the season and the beginning of next season you get rid of them as loan or you transfer them out all those things is not what any fan would want but i just hope they have uh plans for all these players they are signing because if they don't it's going to be catastrophic and we are going to sign more players in the upcoming season i just hope we have plans for all these players i know some players have already left Scott or some on loan latif and abila they said he went to Bechem united um Osman Ibrahim and Imane Sakodi at King Faisal. Uh, Samuel Frimpong joined Mediama because his contract was terminated. I was told he he they wanted him to go for loan, but he opted to, tr to terminate his contract, even though he signed an extension back in May. So I think 
Maybe they are balancing the squad. I think we have, apart from players that left, I think we have extra four to five players additional signings, and most of them are forwards. You know, we, as I said earlier, we struggled up front. Our players up front, attackers, we are not consistent enough, and this will try to help us, you know, overcome that. I just hope the the videos or the performance we saw on the preseason will give them momentum to take it to the Ghana Premier League this season because. Our strikers and all all other players, we have it. We are finding finding it difficult to score more goals. I just hope Prosperity has seen what the problem is in the preseason and try to you know tell them that this is why we are not scoring. This is why this person is not scoring. You should pass the ball very well because everyone that has gone to the Dubai that saw them play, they said Kotoko created lots of chances and they could have scored plenty goals in the preseason, but. They just couldn't connect in that final third. I just hope everything works out. I just hope, I'm hoping because season starts very soon. A few days, season starts. So I just hope Prosperity knows what he's doing because we just need him to start smoothly, continue smoothly and become unstoppable. Right now, I'm saying a lot of stuff. I just hope that things work out for him. A lot of people will criticize him, the way he's approaching game whenever we draw because we are obviously not going to win forever. Whenever we lose a game, they are going to criticize him. We just have to use our own mindset, our own mind, our own our own brain to um, analyze things for ourselves instead of aligning with the radio station or what a presenter is saying. My opinion, everything I'm saying on this channel is my opinion and not of Kotoko fans. So if you hear any opinion I give out here, it is my personal opinion. You have your own opinion. Everyone has your own opinion. So when things go good, Give your opinion honest opinion not anyone else's opinion when things go bad do the same because everyone will be giving opinion once things start going you know sour for kotoko so i'm hoping that things go well for prosperity the new signings i hope they blend in well yes i think we have a lot of defenders right now we have a lot of midfielders we have a lot of attackers we have a lot of strikers everywhere is stacked up when we have the fa cup we know where to field players or we know players to start when we have the Ghana Premier League, we know players to start. So we won't have that situation where a lot of players are injured, just like last season. Last season, a lot of players got injured. And according to what I heard, I said the injury Kotoko players suffered last season was based on uh, the surface of the pitch. They were all ankle injuries and they are caused by the nature of the pitch, twisting ankle while running and all that. That affects players. So I think we, with the amount of players we have, I think we'll be able to perform well in the Ghana Premier League because we have, right now we have pretty good squad depth and it will be pretty good if we can actually utilize the players and you know, know when to put them in the field, when them, know when to put them in the game and know when to take them out. So I think everything is set for prosperity um, the upcoming season. I just hope that he has learned a lot in the preseason in Dubai. I just hope things work out for him. So I think that is all I have to say for today. I would like to know your thoughts. What do you think about the preseason in Dubai? And what do you think about the 15 signings as Antikotoko have made so far in the season? So I think that's all for me today. If you haven't subscribed, please do it right now. My name is Clinton Little as usual. Till next time, guys. Goodbye.